Bro, name is Frank's Road, <laughs> and I'm ready to bring you another episode of Fire Emblem 8 The Sacred Stones. Ah, last episode, Erica managed to get here her um, bracelet stolen in the middle of a fucking forest. Um, does that make sense? Not really. We've established that on the last episode. Good. Um, Today is time for chapter 3, we'll, we'll go and, you know, pursue that thief and try to get the bracelet back, we'll see what we found, um, right? So let's just jump into it, chapter 3, fuck yeah. Ah. Now, by the way, uh, you can enter the armory around here, so if you ever need to buy items, you can go there, which is very useful. I didn't sell the thing. Well then, I can give this. We won't be facing mages anytime soon. I'm gonna sell this trash. Good. And I don't think we need anything else. Uh, and everyone's carrying a vulnerability as well. Except Franz that's carrying two for some reason. Which is good. Um, there was someone with another lens. There we go. We can trade that to Vanessa. And there we go. I think that's pretty much how it goes. Let's go to the Borgo. By the way, it's a Borgo. Yeah. Erica and company pursue the thief who stole her bracelet. Their chase leads them into the mountains where Bosper's bandits pillage at will. <sighs> yep! <Yeah. laughs> Erica cannot ignore her countrymen's pleas for help. She leads her group in the search of the bandits' stronghold. And that's pretty much it. We go inside and we fuck the bandit up. The bandits up. Sorry. I mean, this lecture hits me pretty hard sometimes. The local villagers tell me that Bosman's bandits keep their lair nearby. A few of them saw the lad marching the description of a bracelet thief. It seems a fair guess that the youth is one of these bandits. Bandits? Here in Renee's? Our homeland? I had no idea. Burning up villages? Sitting for people from our people with no fear and reprisal. It wasn't always like this. The knights used to protect the citizenry. However, with the in ruins and her army tattered, law and order are hard to find. It doesn't look like Rather's army is interested in maintaining order here. If not change if nothing changes, Renai will continue this sad plunge into savagery. Mm, hello. Pardon me for asking. But, are you also sort of mercenary troop? Aren't you the girl from fucking Lazy Town? <laughs> Why do you ask? Please, you have to help Con. You have to. I told him he was too dangerous, but he wouldn't listen to me. Please, you must calm yourself. Start at the beginning and speak slowly. All right. I'm Naim Naimi. Naimi. Oh, I'm from. I, I used to be from a village named Locke. Except the village gone. Gone? What do you mean? Erika, of course. Uh, she's very smart. Paspas bandits burned it down. Only Colm and I escaped. The other villagers, bandits attacked them and... Naomi, what are you doing here? Paspas bandits, they have a hideout here in these mountains. That's where Colm... Um, calls my... Uh, we've known each other since we were kids. I want to steal back something those bandits took from me. He went alone? That's a very, very dangerous thing. Yes, I know, that's, that's why I told him, but he wasn't listening to me, he was so Please, wait, please, don't cry. Don't worry, we'll find your friend and see what he's not harmed. Really? Oh, truly. Oh, thank you. Thank you! Your Highness, what will it be? They were after have gone to the Bracer's Lair as well. Well, it seems though as though we share a common cause with Naimi. She's a citizen of Renoise, a, a Renee's after all. And isn't it our duty to defend our countrymen? I'm only sad that we weren't here to protect her friends and neighbors. So yes, I feel we must help her. Very well, Naomi. I trust you can lead the way. Uh, yes, we... There we go, directly, just straight up in the stronghold. Um, what do you think I could do to help you feel so... I mean, you should very far. Really? 
Oh yeah, I'm liking these already. I see. You should remain behind and protect Princess Erica. Meanwhile, Batman. Mm. Not sure who's out there, but it looks like we've got guests. Let's give him a warm welcome, lads. You see a stranger? Stick an ad in him. Ah, oh, they're funny. Um, yeah, new character. We have Naimi, the archer. She's very fast, very skilled, very dodgy. And he actually will get some pretty decent resistance for an archer. Um, if growth, uh, if growth, uh, you know, happen as average. Uh, she starts with a D rank as well, which is pretty nice. She's good. I mean, nothing wrong about using her, to be honest. Uh, if you use her, you probably won't be disappointed. Uh, that's what I'm saying. In this game, as I say already several times, characters are just good. Like, you can use everyone, and he, they'll probably be good. And anyway, let's see what they have here. We have a dorky dude, another, another one. We have chests over here that we can't open. I wonder what will happen to solve this problem. <laughs> um, I can I just fuck this up. Don't really want to use this. Ah, fuck it. I realize I don't really care. Alright, animations for her. Did I put the speed correctly for this? Fast, fast, good. That's fine then. Ba, ba. Let's see if these guys can fuck. Oh, okay, <laughs> they can. Okay. Wow. They're bastards. Okay. Okay, brother. This is so fucking fun already. Yeah. Chess key. You're not a threat for me, bro. <laughs> we'll move Naimi over here. I let's see what happens if I move her here, there, huh? Let's see. Yes, I'll put this guy here, and there's really nothing else we can do. Um, eh. Eh. We're breaking this. Good stuff. I guess friends can lead the charge over here. I can't believe Garcia missed. And of course the bandit is going to hit. Oh my god! Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes! That's so awesome! That's fucking hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> oh! And here we go! Ha! Not a soul saw me. These bandits are easy picking. I guess I might as well start with this chest here. And yeah, there's Colm. That's that's fucking Colm. That's a thief. That's a fucking thief. There it is. That's Colm. Let's grab him. Colm. Naimi. What the fuck are you doing here? I told you not to wait. For, I told you to wait for me, didn't I? I couldn't. Here. We, we don't have a home. Don't you get it? Look, just leave a thing to me. I can take care of it in a flash. Care of it in a flash, but if I don't need a clumsy oaf like you tagging along... Oh, this is ridiculous. We'll talk later. Don't leave my side, Naimi. Alright. And this is Korn, the only thief you get. Uh, and he is pretty good, again. Um, he does kind of work like Matthew, I think he's a little bit better than Matthew, uh, combat-wise. Um, pretty nice growth in strength for being a thief. Um, he's usually quite good um, and very useful. Uh, it's We must use him because he's a thief and thieves are useful and good. So yeah, um, he should be able to fare against these guys decently well. There's a very fast support, by the way, between him and Naimi. I could just do it right now. But I'm gonna wait. I Meanwhile, Garcia just. Oh, he's just a total failure. Oh, I gotta move uh, Seth over here just to protect them, just in case it happens. Alright, Seth. Uh, Garcia, you can at least hit this. Oh my god. You can't hit anything, can't you? I'm s I, I see. I see, dude. I want to attack just in case he hit me and kills me. Don't wanna be messing around with this. Um, oh yeah, we get the heels to pay the bills. <laughs> Oops, none of that. Nope. Alright, we hit this, 
and now uh, little Ross should be able to kill the dude and finally he'll be able to raise a level up isn't that great let's do this bang hell yeah his first level up let us see what he got level 2 HP lock defense that was actually trash but I guess defense is useful now in the early game so I guess I'll take it Give me this fucking chasky. Hmm. I would attack these thief, but there's this bowman here with the javelin, you know. I don't know we're dealing with that. Look, Vanessa can at least hit. Isn't this incredible? I can't even believe it. I don't think Cole has his animations on. Sadly. Whatever. Nice. Nice. Well, that's probably another level up for Ross, right? Wait, I need to heal him first, yes. Alright, let's do this. Boy! <laughs> I got a fucking javelin. Look at that. That's actually pretty good. Give me this javelin. Dang. Alright, good, good. I think I think this is looking alright. I just can't believe this fucking thief is just so dodgy. There we go. We're gonna give some experience to Garcia and see what he does. I'm still not sure what teams I want, so any character is here is a possibility. Um, I'll wait here. Let's get this damage in with Lazy Town Girl. Forgot what's her name. <laughs> and I'll do the support probably. Why not? Uh, but not now. Not now. Once this thief is gone. I can't attack though, like, I just, it's too dangerous. Maybe I should do the, maybe I should do this, yeah. Maybe I should do the support. I mean, oh hi Kong. This is one of the fastest supports in the Fire Emblem history, by the way. Like, this is instant. Instantly and it happens. Hi Kong, how are you doing? This is no time for pleasantries, you need to concentrate in battle. <laughs> I never thought I'd see you in the battlefield. Well, I might not be the best, but I'd yeah, do it. It's amazing how f war affects people. I mean, look at you. You're a bumbling crybaby. But even you've pulled yourself together temporarily. Hmm? When you were a little baby, you followed me everywhere, tripping and crying. Oh, are you always with me? Now look at you, you're still following me everywhere, tripping and fucking crying. But now you're doing it on the battlefield. Will you please stop your boohooing? <laughs> okay, I'll try. Man, you can't do anything without me, can you? Stop fucking crying! But... <laughs> What's it? You're the one who's... Who's making me cry! Ugh! <laughs> They're pretty funny. Um, I guess that should help uh, deal with these thief. Um, since we're playing hard mode, and they have pretty alright sta stats, as you can see. We get one more damage, 7% crit. Pretty nice. Okay, God, it's just... let's open this gate with my bro here and get rid of this thief. I don't want him going anywhere near those chests. So if he's dead, that's good. Absolutely deaded. And now we can probably just trade the the javelin to her. Iron dude is a little bit scary. I don't think I want to deal with him. Can suck my nuts and body. Okay. <laughs> so Naomi, get rid of this bastard. That's good. 
I appreciate that. And we grab the first chest. And it's an arrow land. Great. And now Seth comes in, and we are pretty much safe. I think. Oh, he has, this guy has a fucking hand axe. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, come here, Archer. Prepare to face your demise. Yes. I guess I'll just kill him, right? I just. Yeah. See you. Damn it. Hmm. Um, I don't think I'm enjoying this RNG. <laughs> Let's see how Gilliam does against. Yeah, Gilliam doesn't give a fuck. Oh my god. Please. I know these heat rates are not the best, but they're not that bad. How fast is this bastard? That's five speed, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not messing around with him. Not yet. Uh, I, 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 I guess I can heal. I don't even know. I'll, I'll just bring Mulder up there. Yeah, I, have, I kinda have to heal Calm anyways. One, two, three, four, five. Good. It's interesting to see how calm, <laughs> how calm, calm is. <laughs> Anyways, did you miss my jokes, my friends? Aren't they super funny? <laughs> oh yeah. You're lucky you're alive, bro. Oh wow. So they decided to attack Gilliam the Gilliam. Oh my god, more. There's more dudes. Now you fucking hit? That makes no sense, friends. Level f Oh, it's speed log, yes, and HP. That's pretty good. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, put this guy in here. Gilliam's gonna get rid of this archer. Thank you, Gilliam. You're a reliable bro. Friends. Let's see what we can do with friends. <laughs> yes! 2% critical coming through from friends. He's your best friend. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want this guy to attack uh, Gilliam either. So that's good. He can attack Mulder though. That's fine if he does that. Mulder can take it. Because he's Mulder the Mulder. Yeah! That's pretty close to killing him, but not enough. Bang! Nice, Garcia! Alright! Can I kill you? Not worth a risk. Nope. Nah. I still didn't heal calm. I don't think we need to. Alright, I think we are doing pretty well with this chapter. Ouch. Ouch! Fuck, he doubled me! Yeah, this is hard mode, of course. <laughs> That's Steel X. That is very dangerous. Hmm. Let's see how Ross fares against the hand axe dude though. Let's see if I can kill him. Hatchet. I could miss. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I do not feel like missing at all. Wow. What the fuck? Seven speed? I found three speed. That's, that's, not, that's not okay. <laughs> I will need reinforcements over here. Just open this door just in case. Um, I really want to try and kill him. Alright, let's get rid of this guy first. Bang! Rubble level increased. Well, thank you. Alright, let's move him over there. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, it's not a good idea. Yeah, it's not a good idea to do it with Rush. 
Yeah. Not risking that. We don't fuck around with this bandit. Alright, I think we're doing quite well. Yeah. We almost have this. Basper's over there just waiting for us, but, you know, we'll beat him. I just put him in here and see if he does have the armor slayer. He does not have it. It's pretty good. We could steal that as well. I'll put these lance users over here, ready to beat this poor dude up. <laughs> and I'll try to steal the antitoxins from him, because why not? Seems pretty nice thing to do. And then we can heal Calm as well. Very nice! He's actually going pretty well. Was a little bit scary with the guys doubling, but I think we're good. Nice! Mmm, Vanessa. Oh yeah, mama. Right, let's see what weaponry the boss is carrying. He's just carrying dual weaponry, so I don't, I don't want to be messing around with him. Let's get more XP for Vanessa. Never mind, we missed a f again. Jesus. We can't steal the antitoxin. Very sad. Sad day, sad. Uh, we can kill this guy though. Oh yeah, another two percent. What is going on? <laughs> Let's see the first level up for Gilliam, I think it is. <coughs> Revive, HP, defense. Average! And... Yeah, I don't, I don't think I, will, I want to be messing around with this bastard, honestly. Well... I think this is set and done. Oops, I didn't want to rescue her. All right. Well, oh God, I do like no damage. Oh wait. Ah, oh, why did I do that? Yeah, rescue him. Her, I mean. Drop her. Drop her out of here. There we go. All right. You face death under the heat of this bandit pack. The mighty Bosma. Hope you've enjoyed your life, cause it's about to end. Ah. I'm sure Seth fucks this guy up so hard. <laughs> Alright. Don't hit me, that'd be most unfortunate. There you go. Ah! Yeah, if I throw shit at him, maybe I can kill him faster. Two damage, that's not too impressive. Zero damage, one damage, okay. Three damage, I guess, this hex. Seven damage. Seven speed, or eight speed. I'm looking good here, go! Yes! <laughs> I'm the mighty boss, but these ain't. Oh yeah, Garcia. Oh yeah. <laughs> Level 5, HP and luck. Oh dear. I just regret giving you this kill. I'm not sure you will be... You know... You'll be good enough to make it to the team, huh, Garcia, if you keep that way. Just saying. Oh, come on, Boulder. I have to wait a turn so Mulder can get his last level up. That is beautiful. Be be beautiful! There we go. Ah! Level up. Level 4. HP, speed, and rest. <laughs> nice fucking speed, Smolder. Now let's seize this. We did it. Gone! What now? I told you not to worry. You could rub this bandage blind on my own. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was worried. Hold on, I'm sorry. Come on, don't start bowling. you <laughs> Fine, fine, I promise. But you have to stop crying all the time, alright? Mm hmm Oh yeah, take a look at this. Mm hmm You got a mirror you got your mirror back. Remember when you cried when we left luck? I thought you lost it. This. I knew it was your mother's and I knew those thugs had had taken it. So 
Oh, and I got it back. See what happens when you give me a job? Guaranteed results. Come <laughs> Hey, what are you crying this time? Come on, stop knocking it off, please. Nine me. This is quite touching, but... I think you'd best return Princess Erika's bracelet to her now, if you don't want to die here like a dog. What are you talking about? Are you trying to say that I... Whoa, whoa, there, hold it. It's right here. Take it. Yeah, Seth, is, Seth just doesn't mess around with this, this kid. Especially Seth. You know, you know Seth can destroy him. Tell me, boy, this is the path you've chosen for your life. If this, if this girl matters to you, you must quit this dark road. Uh, yeah, right. We're leaving. Do not expect to be rescued again. Farewell. Hey, wait. Let's go with you. You can't just leave us here. Pardon? You mean I? We've got no home to return to. No matter where we go, there's just going to be more fighting. You're a mercenary, right? Then take us with you. I'm a handy guy to have around. I know I can help you out. Oh yeah, you can. I would prefer not, but I agree with Erica's decision. Our duty is to grieve one, however. We've no time to waste shepherding you. That's fine with us. You just wait. I promise you won't regret your decision. I'll retrieve your bracelet from the bandit stronghold. Here you are, princess. Thank you, Seth. You know, for the game with this bracelet when I was a child. It has only one match in the world, and it's my brother wear it and my brother wears it. Lady Erica, you must take care never to lose that bracelet. It is the proof that King Father entrusted the future to of to you, his children. Seth, what what is your what it is that you're not telling me? I apologize, Your Highness. When the time comes, I will tell you what I know. Until then, I... I see. If you tell me it must wait, then it can wait. I trust you. Then we should get moving again. No idea why Seth is not telling her that, especially in these times of need and danger. But you know, why would you think about this stuff? Doesn't make sense. Right? Whatever. <laughs> This is just the beginning, isn't it? If we're to free our homeland, it will take a battle after battle. I'm afraid so, your highness. The day you and the Prince Ephraim win back freedom and honor of Renes will come. But I fear it lies at the end of a long and treacherous road. I know, I must fight for that day. In the names of all that I could not save, I'll lead us home. Let's go! My brother awaits. Meanwhile, thousands of miles ago, away from General Dussel. Selina, have you, have you been back long? Tell me, how far is the companion Bernays? Signs of chaos abound. Brigands ride without fear, and peasants are cry, the peasants cry fear in the air. <clears throat> For other troops in honor, enforce public order, the situation will worse, only worsen. And still, His Majesty has given us no orders. Perhaps just this once, I should take the lead. What could His Majesty be thinking? Breaking our long-held alliance with Renee's invading without warning. He's never been this way before. He abhors violence. Have, have you noticed the recent promotions? Who are they going to? Certainly not the soldiers who have Grother's best interests at heart. I fear this invasion is the prelude to a much larger war. I feel as... Though his majesty is not longer the man we, we knew him to be. Glenn, that doesn't matter what any of us might think of our others. We are his servants, and we will not question his majesty's intention. I know that, Selena. And yet, that's enough, both of you. His majesty summons us. Let's hope we can learn a little during the oral audience. I appreciate your works for being your previous orders. You are the hammers that drive the nails of the Empire's will. You will continue to operate without hesitation. <laughs> Whenever I say, wherever I send you, by your command. As in your majesty's name. Yes, sire. However, I know this. You, my Imperial Three, lack the strength to conquer the remaining nations alone. The invasion of Rene's certain soldiers performed beyond expectation. I have chosen them to join you as new generals of the Empire's service. Come. 
Oh yeah. The performance of these men surpasses you even your own. With the addition of these three, the Empire will have six generals, strong enough to conquer this land. Do you understand? E-e-e-e-e. I am brief, given the name Blood Baron by His Majesty. I don't have a newcomer, for I pray for your favor. Understood. <laughs> I'm Kalash. I was a mercenary fighting in the desert. Seems like I'm to be called Tiger Eye. You're a fine looking lash, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna love working with you. <laughs> ah. So we meet again. You know me as General Volta, but you can call me the Moonstone. I will save your worthless dogs from your own incompetence. You'll thank me later. <laughs> I love him. Walter, you scum! Peace, Glenn. I just love that this everything is happening <laughs> right before the Emperor and he doesn't give a fuck. Selina and Kalak. You will bring me Frelia. Yes, sire. Sure, good as done. Reeve and do so. You are charged with the defense of the Empire. I will speak to you individually with more details later. <laughs> I've destroyed your majesty. By your command, sire. And me? Walter Glenn, I have other duties for you. Yes, your majesty. Renee's has fallen, but Princess Erika still eludes us. Her brother, Prince Ephraim, leads the resistance within our borders. Bring the siblings to me. <laughs> of course. Yep, we meet finally all the generals. Of Grado. Six of them are now. <laughs> They're pretty funny people. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed this pod. Game is looking more and more interesting every day that passes, right? Even though some stuff doesn't make sense. But, you know, it's a Fire Emblem game. It usually happens. With this, I'm going to end this episode. And I will be seeing you guys on the next one. Uh, so hopefully you had fun. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.